everyone, my name is Prim. And my name is Tang. We are new reporters for the KWIS ISF 2023. On day one, KWIS ISF 2023 was started with a several opening. Dr. Pailin Chusha Thawon, chairperson of KWIS Governing Board, and Associate Professor Dr. Bun Chot Pao Sobat Yang Yong, our principal, gave us a warm welcome speech. That's right. Dr. Pailin emphasized the significance of adapting to new ways of living and communicating, particularly the concept of the metaverse as a means of creating new opportunities via online connections. Such an interesting topic! And also, Silavisi Bunjaran Chai, KV student representative, highlighted the importance of scientific inquiry and curiosity to uncover the mysteries of nature and enhance our well being. He saw the event as a gathering place for like-minded individuals to share their discoveries and learn from one another's efforts. For me, the most interesting part of this morning event is the keynote speech by Dr. Thirawit Vilay Pasitpon from Vistek on the subject of AI-driven biomedical signal processing and imaging. The session introduced practical measurement methods for sensing biosignals over the human bodies, such as biomedical, mechanical, and non-contact sensing. Wow, the role of AI in our state world is large today. It is. Also, there were also a special project presentations on stage by our friends from Case A and KWIS. How did they feel? What are their projects about? Let's talk to them. And now we are here with KSA students, which gave us an oral presentation this morning. So what you have done on your research? Um, our research topic is a study on the manufacture and efficiency of DSSCs, short for dye sanitized solar cells, based on natural dyes. Sound interesting. How do you feel about giving an oral presentation this morning? Actually, I was really, really nervous, <laughs> but uh, many people, uh, uh, they have to uh, give some fighting, so I, I can grab yeah, great presenting. Well, what do you think about the, this morning opening ceremony? Uh, I think this opening ceremony was very good, especially like the, stu the teacher and one, one, student, uh, one teacher dancing the la, which is called La La Land and it was quite impressive and also the, the lecture given by on professor it was impressive too I think opening ceremony was very good you guys did an amazing job thank you so much yeah, I really appreciate your work thank you and now we are here with the representative of Kivis and can you tell what you have done on your research project? Okay, our research topic is mushroom derived carbon dots at fluorescent sensors for ion free ion detection or ferric ion detection. Sounds interesting. How do you feel about giving an oral presentation this morning? So we are all so excited to deliver our projects to the crowd and however I think it did uh, presented it really well and we really enjoy doing this. How do you think about like the overall welcome ceremony? Do you like it? Yes, I really like the opening ceremony and the show is so really like, fantastic and also the keynote speaker presentation is like, really interesting and I can like get more knowledge in that topic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and now we are with our keynote speaker today, Dr. Thirawit. Dr. Thirawit, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. I am a like assistant professor from the School of Information Science Technology, which is Tech. And uh, my research area is about the AI uh, application to the bio signal processing. So, what are the key takeaways of your speech today? So the key is that uh, the technology is uh, coming to our life a lot. So the thing that you have to, to learn that how they really uh, sense our, I mean, uh, the information that uh, generated by our daily life. For example, the four activity that I mentioned. So the sleep, uh, emotion, uh, food, consumption, and also another is like fitness trackers. And so... Another key that uh, once you develop the AI, 
Sometimes you never know that the how, how or, or what is the mechanism behind them to achieve the, those performance. Sometimes they can compete with the human, right? And uh, sometimes they can assist human in, in, in working daily. But the thing that to know that uh, how the model works, so you have to develop the explainable AI method, which is uh, like new ac active research direction that you really to make sure that the model learn, like learn from the emotion information meaningful i think the the last thing for the the like the high school festival international science fair to take from the the, the important thing or the, the last message from me i think they're uh, working like the uh, multidisciplinary probably be the the most important thing from the this era i mean the, this period from now on thank you oh thank you so much Thank you, Mina, Om Om, and all the participants. I was amazed with all the new discoveries. I could see that they put a lot of effort into their work. I totally agree. Now, last but not least, we celebrated at the end of the day with a welcome dinner and a joyful Thai cultural performance. That was a blast. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. This is a really a special event for for Kiwis student and uh, our participant. So I really encourage uh, our our student to make the best use of this occasion. Learn uh, from your friends, learn the uh, diversity, and to uh, to uh, take up the challenge. And uh, I I really uh, believe that. Uh, uh, you all will be growing up as uh, being a really good and really successful um, scientists in the future.